Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to expose these parameters for a material, this metallic specular roughness and everything, how to expose them to outside of the material function. So this is our material function and for now we have only this normal map near yeah, normal and near yeah, scaling distance scaling these are the things we have out implemented as function inputs so to do that this is all you have to do i'll get some distance here for metallic part let's start with metallic i'll do it like this and type function input and I'll make it a scalar like this. I'll call it metallic. Right. Similarly, I'll create, I'll duplicate this and connect to specular and roughness and I'll call this one specular and this one roughness and so in the same way I can connect these other ones as well but uh, for the moment and this is for the landscape material so I don't think we need to have opacity opacity mask this kind of things to be exposed outside the layer so I'll apply this and now let's if I go back to my landscape material they have show they have shown errors that's because we haven't defined inputs for these newly created material function inputs so I'll fix them now I'll get some distance like this and uh, even if we have a couple of layers like rock grass sand and everything for now I'll create only one parameter for each one that means metallic roughness and uh, this one should be uh, this one should be specular and this one should be roughness right and in future I'm going to use these parameters to drive the wetness or the of the ground that means I'm going to implement a dynamic raining system and for that when it is raining this uh, ground should look wet and when it is turn or training it should look dry and I'm going to drive these parameters drive these uh, behaviors with these parameters okay and as for the default values I'll put I'll put metallic as 0.1 and specular also as 0.1 and roughness as 0 so let's see the output wait so I'll connect these all parameters into all the other layers I'll comment this section as surface 30 so if you need to have different parameter for different landscape material layer look you can duplicate these parameters and connect separately but for now I think this same material would do same parameters would do
right right okay now let's apply and wait until it compiles okay the shader is compiled and let's see our map right so it looks like it's completely wet that's not bad but this happens because uh, we have set our roughness parameter to 1 so if I set it to 0 sorry one, when it is 0 it looks wet when it is 1 it looks dry so yeah so we already have this effect we can you can already see where I'm going at with this right and uh, that's all I need to show you in this video next time I'll show you how to populate this landscape with grass without placing them by hand I will use landscape grass outputs and I will show you how to make grass only on these grass surfaces not on rocky surfaces so anyway only on grass surfaces and see you in the next video and please subscribe if you want to be, get updates and also if you have any further questions don't hesitate to ask and refer to my blog post which would be in the description or the section and you can find the material code there thank you very much goodbye